DJ Scheme is approaching. Look at this man running up in this bitch. How you doing? Yo, this is my famous friend, DJ Scheme. Yo, this dude is famous as hell all of a sudden. How'd that happen? What's up, G? I don't even know. How did this happen? Ski Mask, why'd you give this guy so much clout? What happened? I had to. <laughs> I had to. He said I had to. I had to. Oh, my God. So, yo, I just seen you guys on tour with Juice World the other day. How has this been? Like, this is one of the few times that I see the homies go on tour, and I'm legit jealous. I'm watching your stories, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> It's not. I hear about people going on tour with people they don't like all the time. Yeah, and saying, I hear horrible. about that shit all the time. Like, you guys in Juice World, Cole, it fuck. seems way too fun. It's been smooth as fuck. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revenge tour will always, always be like a memory, but this tour is like the most comfortable tour I've, we've ever experienced, honestly. Yo, it blows my mind seeing you guys play venues that big. Like, it's one thing at a festival, but like seeing you guys just casually rock 7,000 people, I'm like... Casually now. Bro, guys got big all of a sudden. We're, we have 15,000 tickets for fucking Con uh, Hartford. 15,000 people in Connecticut. Bro. That honestly, trips me out. Honestly, like, even like, I feel like all the shows, all the shows that we've been having has been better than like um, my set here. You feel me? Because like more people show like more love. You, you know I, I, mean? I agree with you, what you're yeah. saying. Though. Yeah, that's it's what true. I heard. Because it's Juice World is like headlining, but then he brings out Ski Mask in the middle of it, and I I saw it's the amazing. energy, and it was whoosh, <laughs> like they were fucking hyped every time. That's bro. a fact. Every yeah. time, that's a fact. Yeah. Can I talk about what? As long as we talk about what we see on the Instagram stories, I love seeing you work out with your bodyguard. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm working out. You work did. out. Like, um, Working out. Everything. Working out with Ant. Yeah, you dig. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm trying to get like, uh, I'm trying to get fit. Trying to get what's up. I'm trying to get to where I need to be in life. You know what I mean? Like, as happy as I can be. You like, look good compared to last rolling loud. You look like you lost some weight and shit. Yeah, am I right? I was. Like, you was making fun of me for last rolling loud, bitch. Sorry. Yes, I was making fun of him because I said that X and you side by side that you looked like the dad because X I is did, like I did, I did, I did. X is six packed out and. Yeah. You might have been sitting down a little bit. You had to take a little break. I was sitting down a lot. But I'm working out a lot more now, trying to focus on a lot of more good shit in my life. So, yeah, a lot how, of things are going good right now. How do you explain how the, the come up that DJ Scheme has had over the last year? It's been amazing to see one of the bros yeah. turning into like a diplo. One, one of the dips. One of the bros <laughs> turning into the one bros. of the blows. I mean, like, you, there's, there's nothing we can really say, like explain it by. It's just like Gabe is like one of the best DJs out here. Mm. Energy wise, uh, putting himself out there wise, like working wise, you have to like, you can't count Gabe out, you know what I mean? And he might just get kicked out of One Oak real quick. Ah! Fuck One Oak, they're racist. One Oak is a racist club. I can't believe that shit. I can't believe that we shit. pulled up 30 deep and they were not having it. They called us ghetto. Let's be real. They bro, that wasn't ghetto. us. We didn't pull up like that, bro. There was other people that we was with that pulled up like that. Yeah, and that's one thing that we were saying was that when you're when your scheme has a slump guard and DJ Scheme and Juice Roll and you're on tour in LA, it's impossible. impossible. You can't do anything because everyone lives hectic. there. LA is always hectic. I think it is a real bottle. Yeah, we're drinking Bel Air. We're sipping on Bel Air. Sipping on Bel Air. Yo, you know what? Since I hung out I with you the other day, Germany. I listened to Pimpin' Ain't Easy by Kodak about 8,000 times. <laughs> You made me realize how brilliant how the lyrics. That shit been, right? Bro, that's all I've been listening to. Kodak going crazy. He said he trained it in the spice for the bud. <laughs> Was Kodak off the K2? That's what we need to know. Yeah. Nah, nah, definitely nah, not. I feel like a lot of people in Florida used to do K2, though. Yo, keep in mind, this is the first man who had us talking about Flocka. True. I know for a fact he was nowhere near Flock, though. No? Hey, no. Nah. You never had a Flock of phase? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Oh, Molly. Molly? I'm going through it right now. You're Molly. Molly face. Molly. That's so cool. Molly. Hey, now DJ Scheme, Scheme has a slump guard. They don't sell Molly no more. It's official. Audio you, Mac, we don't sell you Molly. Remember no huh? You remember that? You remember that? When you were on Molly? No, not really. Nah, but we don't sell Molly. Oh, yeah, wait. That's a McCona song. But you don't remember X made a song about Molly? What, what was it called? White girl. White, white girl Molly. You don't remember nah. what it was about? Yes, sir, I do. You took it a little too literal? Molly. Nah, yeah, I did. Yo, so talk. I told my dad I'm selling Molly. Ninth, ninth grade. Oh, right, 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 right. Hey, yo, oh, yeah. so tell me how how it feels, honestly, right now. It's like, this is X's people. Like, this is never, never, it's, it's crazy to even think that it's been almost a year, but these are X's people right here. Like, this is his fucking tribe. And uh, <laughs> Look at his face. I'm over here trying to get deep. I picked a weird time to try to get serious there. That 
sorry. Nasty. DJ Scheme, you're about to get kicked out of Rolling Loud, too. We I drinking can't. this? That's impossible. I you can't, can't get kicked out? Never. Shout hey out man. to Tark. That's all I got to say, though, is that it's like, because you have a full DJ set playing X's, Tomorrow, X's yeah. catalog, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just like, it, you can't even put into words how much this is such a reflection of what he really helped to create, I guess Yo, is how I, I can put I'll it. I'll be honest with you, it's like a beautiful thing. Like, I mean, like, as sad as it is, like, things like that make me realize that, like, him leaving early was kind of like his plan in a sense and like he left all his like but not really just like his friends and his family like he really left the world with a lot of blessings and it's like something that you just got to take in and really like appreciate definitely and that's what i've been doing honestly it's like it's a beautiful <laughs> thing bro like without him without ski and my friends like i would i would be nothing and i feel like without each other we would really never be shit anyway so it's like it's just a beautiful thing like to really like experience you know as sad as it is you can yeah. find the beauty in it too to be honest it's like I never knew that an artist, like, I never knew that an interview could mean that much to so many people. I never knew that an artist that, that was from was this the world. the most meaningful interview out of every interview X ever had. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Because he didn't want to stop talking. I know. People and get on my ass about that. Like, why'd you stop him? They forget that it's like, yo, he was like a brand new rapper. New it's artist, like, what, am I yeah. supposed to do like three hours? Like, like no, just keep talking. Yeah. Please. I really, I regret that. I wish I had said, nah, just keep spilling your guts. But, you know, <laughs> and even the music, too. Like, I never could have imagined like I was saying this to somebody here I was like you know I had people coming up to me here I was like if the only thing that I ever did was interview X it would be like that here because like to the people here it's like his his music his specter is bigger than anything that any of us could have ever imagined and that's why when I see you guys going and rocking these giant venues that's such a good feeling because it's like all right that spirit is still there like that's this, what this he shit is wanted. still it's going what he wants you know it's like it's just all part of the plan he was too beautiful for this world to, to last too long, I feel like, you know? Yeah, nah, way too beautiful. He knew he knew he was going to go early, and it was just like, I mean, you know, you never expect it to happen, for things to happen the way that they did, but, like, I feel like he prepared all of us. You know what I mean? If you really Definitely. listen to his music, Definitely. he really prepared us for, like, the worst, and it happened, you know? Mm, yeah, but, hey, you guys are still keeping it alive, and I just want to say how much I appreciate it. It's a beautiful thing, you know? Hell nah, yeah, we bro. love you, bro. Oh, you know, we also you appreciate know, you. you yeah, Bro, you I appreciate that. you, yo. Do do rag, head ass, face ass. <laughs> you think you're funny? I'm about to fire your ass up. Oh man. shit! You yeah, gonna pump in no Randy me real quick for these Ooh, dad I'm about shoes? To yo, daddy shoes. I'm about to get yo, why doesn't pump in no Randy dad? performing at Rolling Loud? That's what I'm mad about. Why, why doesn't he have a closing set? Like he should be after Migos. Easy, easy. Y'all niggas are crazy. <laughs> we are indeed. Florida in the building. You did what, what I was saying. What are you guys getting into tonight? Where are you going to the club or what? Uh, I'm a probably watch Juice's set and then I don't really know. I don't know what's going on. What do you do? I know do? I'm going to get drunk. I'm going to watch Juice's set that's and happening. then that's after everything after that, I'm trying to I'm trying to get, roll yeah. with the punches. Uh, yeah. I was about to say some cool wild shit. Right there. <laughs> you trying to get your balls licked? Never mind. Nah, nah, nah. Rundle licked, butthole licked. How deep you going to go? This thing is crazy. I don't know how far you're willing to go, my friend. <laughs> no, I'm going to watch the Juice World set, and then I think Juice World going to the club. We're going to the club. Wow, that was cool. I'm going to do that every interview. <laughs> it's lit. All right. Beach. Hey, I'm going to let you guys go, but I just want to say I really appreciate you guys, and uh, it's still an honor watching the come up day by day. Thank, Thank you, bro. It's an honor watching your come up every day, too. Absolutely. And That's I respect true. you guys keeping the drip going. Let's get the shoes up on the table. Oh. Look at drip on tour. Very important. Ski Mask raised his son well. Right? Come on. <laughs> Shout out Bel Air. We're drinking all of that shit. Slat. I'm about to take a shot. Bitch. End it. Cut the fucking show. Cut. Cut. Where Migos at? Get Cardi B up here. What up, Keys? How you feeling?